Hey, this is Mike from Sons Liberty Gunworks, and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about timing a muzzle device for a suppressor host. Okay, so if you're going to be mounting a suppressor to the weapon, the muzzle device should not be mounted with a crush washer. Crush washers don't crush um, concentrically, right? They always follow the leading edge. So you're going to want to use shims. It's very, very frustrating to try to find the right shim combination sometimes whenever you're getting this muzzle device to time up. And what I see a lot of times uh, with people building guns in their garage, or even companies that just don't give a shit, is like something we call the ah, fuck it factor. <laughs> the ah, fuck it factor is when something is not timing up right, and you have a tendency to either under torque it or over torque it, because you're just done trying to find the correct way to, to do it. And, and we see that all the time. Um, remember, the fastest way to kill a barrel take a one minute barrel and turn it into a six minute barrel is to over torque a muzzle device. You're putting a lot of stress on those threads and on that crown and muzzle. That's the last bit of input you have on the bullet before it leaves. Uh, the other problem too is when you under torque that shit, then you have the tendency or you see sometimes the um, suppressor or the muzzle device start to back off. You want to hit it within that right torque window. Now, how do you do that uh, without spending a lot of time trying to find that perfect combination? What we'll do is we'll take our shims and we'll come in from the outside, okay, and use them as a feeler gauge right around the point where the muzzle device kind of times up at the 1130 position. If the muzzle device is supposed to time up at tap dead center like 12 o'clock, if you get it hand tight to about 1130, when you throw the torque wrench on there and you drag it to that 25 to 30 pound range, that's usually about the distance it's going to travel. Now remember, when you have rock set in place, it's going to take a little bit of that travel off. And also, whenever you degrease all the threads like you're supposed to, remember that the threads on the muzzle device, threads on the barrel, need to be perfectly degreased for that rock set to cure. That's going to change the travel a little bit. But the point is, you're looking for about 1130 hand tight, get your wrench on there. And I bet by the time you get to 12, you've put the appropriate torque value pretty damn close and uh, you found that distance, you found the shim combination from the outside uh, acting as a feeler gauge. Anyway, this is Mike. Uh, check us out on uh, you know, our stuff and come see us at some of our merch courses.